This is an update on the 6809 computer that I've been building. As you can see, I've moved it onto a prototyping board, and I'll give you a quick overview of the components. Here you have the 4 MHz oscillator. The uh, CPU clock is then divided uh, with these chips down to 1 MHz. This is the 6809 processor itself. Here we have uh, an 8K EEPROM for firmware. And this is a uh, 512K static RAM chip. Now, since the 6809 can only address 64K memory at once, uh, these chips are used for bank switching. The first 32K of RAM are always present, and an additional uh, 16K page from the remaining memory can be uh, swapped in as well. And here we have a 16550 UART chip for serial communications and the 1.8 something megahertz crystal for the baud rate generator and it's used uh, for a console interface as well as for flashing firmware into the EEPROM. Um, here we have the uh, serial port connection. The pins match the uh, FTDI cable pinout so I can easily connect it to a USB port. Um, but for this demo, however, I have it uh, connected up here to a one of my terminal scope boards, which is also connected to an XY uh, display. Um, now, before I turn it on, I have to plug in one more thing. I've got this little board here that plugs right into the bus, right about there. And this has the halt switch, and the reset button and the interrupt button and the uh, blinking lights here that blink too fast but they're a nice indication that the uh, the system is uh, working so let's make sure the halt switch is up and let's turn on the power okay um, we've got three green LEDs that's good and let's um, Reset that and turn the halt switch down to start it up. Okay, the lights are on. The uh, tricolor LED is now green. Let's turn on the XY display and see if we've got anything on the screen. And we do. Here we go. Now we're at the, uh, the monitor prompt and I will put the uh, camera on the tripod so we can actually use this. Alright, um, so the monitor takes up currently just about half of the 8K ROM chip. It has a, a rudimentary command interpreter and a disassembler, some uh, numeric I.O. routines and a couple other things. Um, eventually you'll be able to plug in an SD card and the other 4K of the ROM will contain SD card routines. Um, Alright, so to start off, let's uh, look at the contents of memory. So I can type X E000, 512 to um, examine 512 bytes of memory starting at address E000, which is the start of ROM. And there we go, we've got dumps in hex and ASCII as well. I can press enter or space to page through. And I can hit Q to stop that. I can also do a disassembly with the D command D E O O O comma five one two to disassemble five hundred twelve instructions from the start of ROM, and I can also um, let's see, I can also write to RAM as well. Um, let's write a little Hello World program. Uh, I don't have an onboard assembler here, so I'm just going to have to write machine code. So let's start by writing the string right at address one zero zero zero. And we'll go OA four eight six five six C six C six F two O and we'll all then we'll do right semicolon means uh, address after the last address that was just written to, so um, I don't have to keep track in my head. And we'll do five seven six F 726C64210. Alright, now let's write the code into address 1100. 
And the first thing we'll do is we'll set the stack pointer 10CE1200. Now we will load the pointer to the string into the X register. And that uh, is 8E1000 because the string is at address 1000. Now we call the print string function that's in the ROM, and that's BDEO. E, e, that's the address of the routine. And finally, we'll do a software interrupt to return to the monitor. Yep. Write 3F. And let's disassemble that to see what we wrote. Disassemble from 1100 to 110A. And there we go, our four instructions. Load the stack pointer, load the X pointer, uh, jump to the print subroutine, and software interrupt. And let's run it. And we'll say go at address 1100. Hello world. And you can see the software interrupt has brought us back to the monitor. I can uh, use the R command to get the state of the registers at the point when uh, the processor was interrupted. In fact, I can even change the, the registers. I can change the program counter with the S command to 1104 program counter is now backed up to just before the print routine and I can continue execution at that saved program counter location with the C command and then it calls hello world again and there you have it um, you can also use a PC instead of a terminal scope if you've got a USB to serial cable um, in the future I'll be adding SD uh, SD card storage like I mentioned before as well as some uh, some vintage uh, sound and video chips for some really awesome uh, retro type stuff so stay tuned